Hey, I'm back. <laughs> All right, I got that side done. Now for this rounded corner, that was kind of hard. I'm just going to take my paintbrush here and just coat this really good. This primer sands really nice with that catalyst. You know, it dries deep down there even if you're getting it putting it on there thick. Like with your air dry lacquers, you know, shoot, it'd be a week before you can dry this where you got it really thick. Not this stuff. This ain't an air dry. Anything that's got a hardener ain't air dry. You know? And I'm just going to layer on a couple nice heavy coats all over this thing and then I'll sand it one time prime it again and it'll look good I'm going to have to take a little bit of filler to some of the big voids but we're just filling pinholes right now well, what are you looking over there for? what you looking over there for? And this actually takes a lot less primer than spraying. We ain't losing none in the air, no overspray. You know? Sure beats all that sand and coat of primer, sand it, coat of primer, sand it. You know, you'll use four times the primer doing that. You know, I don't, and I don't do the whole thing with a brush. I probably could, but it's it don't go on as smooth as it does that putty knife. You know, that spreader actually. Plus it kind of works it into the air holes more, gets in the low spots. And that spreader's pretty fast, man. Okay, let's let that sit up a little bit. Just a minute. Come over here and work on these pinholes. See that? This would be real hard with that spreader too. Work around here. So let's just use this paintbrush. And this, there was just millions of pinholes up in here. Just millions. And let's just make easy work out of them. What y'all looking down there for? <laughs> There's nothing down there. There was just millions of pinholes on this ridge. Just millions. Bam, now there ain't a one. See that? And I probably started out with not that much primer. Shoot, I still got half of it left. Hey, this being surround, you know, it'd probably be easier just to get this thing with a brush. Then we'll block it out with a wet sander. Wet sanding with 220. I don't like to dry sand too much. 
because of the dust, man. You know, I like to wet sand everything I can. Keeps the dust down. We want this. We want a good layer of primer on all this. Nice build. That's what this primer is for. This is a high build primer. I wouldn't do this on just glass and wings and stuff. I'd go, I'd go back to my P47 if you or my the the Cougar if you want to learn how to glass instead of wings. This is not to prime some, how to prime something you're going to fly. Now this is way too thick, way too heavy. This is for plugs. You know when I go to prime something that I'm actually going to fly. Man, my primer is thin, man. Just a thin, can you know. My paint job on that Cougar probably don't weigh much more than a monocoat job because it is just all so thin. And monocoat weighs, people. Believe it or not, that stuff is not weightless. Man, oh, I took care of five million pinholes right there. <laughs> At least five million. Okay, there was a bunch up in here too. Let's just go ahead and fill them. You know, this is for Bondo. You know, we can't even come close to filling that stuff with primer. trying to. We just got a millions of pinholes. I don't like filling pinholes with uh, you know my filler, you know my bondo because I use that stuff it's I use that thinner Bondo, and that's kind of pricey, man. By the time you go spreading all these millions of pinholes with that expensive filler, man, that costs you some money. You know, now you, even though that primer is $100 a gallon, I used about this much so far. And you know, probably a dollar's worth, you know. And what'd that take me? Three, four minutes? Another three, four minutes to sand it? And it's done. Okay, now this is going to all be dry now. See, look at that. Look at that, that's already dry. It's, probably, it's not dry enough to sand, but it's dry enough to put another coat on. Halfway there, but uh, I'm gonna get this side spread, people, and we'll make another video. All right, what's think? Want me to make another one? We'll make some more tonight. I'm in a video making mood. It's only 10 o'clock. We got time. We got time to make some more videos. 10 minutes at a time. Don't stink. I'm actually going to let this tack up for just a minute. That's how it's ready. And uh, I'll be back in a few minutes, people. We'll make a 